Before we get started today, just a quick note about the comments section in YouTube. Like any other news source, we get our fair share of trolls, haters and wackos. We also get plenty of interesting comments and from time to time some important corrections. Now, during these times when facts matter, the times here in Thailand when protesters are addressing sensitive topics, the tiger needs to be careful and responsible with making sure that the comments section doesn't descend into a quagmire of fake news, alternate facts and libelous comments that could get us and you into trouble. So we'll continue to curate the comments section in line with YouTube's terms and conditions and to protect our brand and our business. Also, with our daily editing, we're removing the headline banner at the bottom of the page, as many people are now using closed captions, which just becomes a sort of a complicated word salad at the bottom of the page. Well, hopefully all that helps. Enough of the serious stuff. Let's talk about today's news. A quick update on Thailand's current COVID outbreak. There are 46 new COVID-19 cases confirmed today by the CSA. 39 were local transmissions, while the other seven were arrivees detected in quarantine. Out of the 39 local, 11 cases were detected in Bangkok, five in Chachongsao, three in Nakhon Patom, two in Kampang Pet, two in Tak, two in Prachanburi, two in Ayutthaya, two in Samut Prakan, and two in Saraburi, and one each in Pechibun, Krabi, Konkan, Nakhon Ratchasima, Nontaburi, Patumtani, Phuket, and Subanburi. The total number of cases in Thailand now is 5,762, including 4,095 people fully recovered and another 1,607 currently under hospital supervision and treatment. Around Bangkok today, there are notable signs that the former precautions are back in many public spaces and private businesses. Mask wearing has never really stopped being a thing, but there are now regular temperature checks check-in locations, advice to use the Thai China app, and the signs are back at business entrances advising people about social distancing and washing hands with sanitizer. At this stage, there has been no confirmations of actual lockdowns or provincial border closures. As usual, we'll keep you up to date with any changes to the status quo at thetiger.com. A group of Burmese migrant workers ended up being dumped on the side of a highway near Bangkok after their employer allegedly took them for a ride, telling them they were going to get tested for COVID-19. Much of the current coronavirus prevention measure is focused on hundreds of migrant workers at a seafood market in Samut Sakon, southwest of Bangkok. The employer dumped the 24 Burmese migrant workers on the side of a highway in Samut Prakant Bang Pli area, just outside Bangkok. The migrants have been working near the Mahachai Market, a COVID-19 hotspot linked to more than 1,000 infections. Yesterday, a primary school in Phuket made a Facebook post announcing that a student's parent tested positive for COVID-19. The post was taken down within an hour, saying they were unofficially notified by the province's public health office about the recent case and they're awaiting results from the second test to verify the case. Now, this morning, the Phuket Provincial Public Health Office confirmed the case. But a fake post yesterday afternoon claimed that there were another 21 cases on the island, a post that was widely circulated. Because of the fear caused by the fake news, or from an abundance of caution, at least 15 Phuket schools were closed today and much of the island's busy peak traffic vanished, as you can see from this video, along the island's busy Tepkasatri Road. Now, other schools say they're closing down for the rest of the week. Schools in Bangkok and Patumtani are also closed today with the announcement of local COVID-19 infections but not all schools. At this stage, the Prime Minister is signalling an end to any more easing of the border closures and restrictions. He's also signalled that the CSA is considering other measures to curb the current outbreaks. 
New Year celebrations have also been cancelled in many parts of Thailand, including Bangkok and Pattaya. So that's the end of quite a lot of COVID-19 news. Of course, there are other things happening around Thailand and we'll bring you those stories at thetiger.com and in future news broadcasts. But people do want to know this information right now. Now, as far as our video daily programs are concerned, we're having the day off on Friday, Christmas Day, and also on the following New Year's Day. Otherwise, we'll be back here bringing you the news every day, but the news will continue on our online website at thetiger.com. And from our team here at the Bangkok office, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you tomorrow.